Hey, what's going on, guys? Calvin Russell here, co-founder of Park Place Realty Group. All right, let's go straight into it. Um, the reason why I'm sharing this with you all is because there's some new information that I just found out um, about bankruptcies and uh, buying property. All right. So let's go straight into it. For those who don't know, um, you can purchase property um, if you have had a previous bankruptcy or even if you have a current bankruptcy open. But let's go into what does that mean and what do those bankruptcies mean? Now, you may not have a bankruptcy, right? But you may know someone and let them know that we do have the resources to make that happen. So let's start with a Chapter 7. So a Chapter 7 bankruptcy um, is when you have a bankruptcy and they've forgiven all of your debts. Um, you don't have a monthly payment plan. And it usually falls off your credit report after 10 years. Um, now, the best thing to do is if you are in a time crunch and you're going to and you're considering a chapter 7 bankruptcy it's best to buy the property and then you no know, uh, you know if you're considering bankruptcy and then do then do the filing after you purchase the home uh, and then of course I'm not recommending that you put the home inside of the bankruptcy but if you have already gone through the bankruptcy and you're considering still doing it then you can purchase property, but it has to be two years after the bankruptcy has discharged, okay? Two years after it's discharged, all right? If you're not sure about your discharge date, give my team a call. We can look that up for you. Um, or you can reach out to your old legal team, and they'll let you know that as well, too. Again, that's two years after the bankruptcy has been uh, discharged, okay? Now, if you're in the middle of the Chapter 7, it usually lasts about three or four months, um, you are not able to go into home ownership. Um, if you're under two years from the discharge date, you are not able to go into home ownership. Now, can you switch your Chapter 7 to a Chapter 13? I strongly recommend it, uh, but obviously a Chapter 13 is a glorified payment plan, so make sure that you're in a financial position to actually afford that, okay? So that's how you want to do that, all right? So that's number one. Number two, if you are going through a Chapter 13, okay, a Chapter 13 bankruptcy is where they are not, I repeat, they are not forgiving your debts. You are on a payment plan. And typically, this discharges after about three to four years, okay? Once it discharges uh, between, you know, in that three to four year period, um, you can actually go into homeownership a lot sooner. Um, there's two ways you can go into homeownership with a Chapter 13. Way number one, at, uh, with the Chapter 13, as I mentioned, it's a payment plan. So that lasts for 12 I'm sorry, not 12. It lasts for uh, three to four years. OK, so if you um, if you've had on time payments, 12 on time consecutive payments. So the last mo the most recent 12 payments have to be consecutive. Then you will qualify for homeownership. Um, now, keep in mind, you still must meet the requirements. OK, having a bankruptcy doesn't reset anything. OK, uh, like your credit score, your income, you DTI, um, all of that still plays a role. Time on job. All of those things are still factors. The bankruptcy itself, it just talks about your debt obligations. OK, so um, now. Once you have had those 12 consecutive payments on time, you still must get that approved by your trustee. OK, um, and, or, you know, and of course, talk to your legal team. They know exactly what to do to get that approval and you'll be able to get that done for sure. OK, the second way that you can purchase property um, if you have a chapter 13 is essentially paying off the chapter 13 early. Now, this is something that just helped out one of our clients uh, tremendously. And um, he and his family, they're pressed for time. They have to move. And he didn't want to wait until the, the, the time frame came for a chapter 13, uh, 12 consecutive payments. So he said, you know, I'm just going to just pay the thing off early. So, oh, well, let's go ahead and do that. You know, so and he was able to go. He was in a finance position. where He can go ahead and do that. Um, and then, of course, now he's able uh, that is once he makes the payment based on his legal team that immediately discharges 
um, you know, um, his course case and, and the actual bankruptcy file. OK, based on, that's what his legal team said. And now that that does that, now we can start the pre-approval process. OK, so that's how you would buy property if you are in a chapter 13 or chapter 7. Again, short version, extremely short version. Um, of course, chapter 7, you got to wait to after two years. If you go with a chapter 13, you could do it, but you have to wait until 12 consecutive months um, You know, have been paid on time. It must be the most recent consecutive, I'm sorry, most recent 12 months consecutively. If you don't want to wait that time frame, then you're more than welcome to pay off the chapter 13 early. And at that point, it will be immediately discharged and you can go and start the pre-approval process, okay? So if you like this video, like it, you want to share it, share it. And as always, we got more content coming to help you accomplish your property ownership goals. You guys have a good one.